Hey guys, it's Miss Sarah again. I have another read aloud video for you today. We're going to take another look at my Eric Carl book. We read The Tiny Seed. Now we're going to read a story called Pancakes, Pancakes. I need to find the first page. Uh, here it is. Here's the cover. Pancakes, pancakes. This is another Eric Carle story. Cock a doo doo, crowed the rooster. Jack woke up, looked out the window, and thought, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. Jack's mother was already up and busy. Mother, said Jack, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. I'm busy and you'll have to help me, she said. How can I help, asked Jack. We'll need some flour, she replied. Take a sickle, which is like a big knife. That's what he's holding right here, the sickle. Take a sickle and cut as much wheat as the donkey can carry. Then take it to the mill. The miller will grind it into flour. When Jack had cut enough wheat, he put it on the donkey's back and took it to the miller. Can you grind this wheat for me, he asked. I need it for a big pancake. First, we must separate the grain from the chaff, said the miller. He gave Jack a flail, which is this big, long stick, and began to beat the wheat with it. Jack helped with the threshing, and soon there was a big, a big pile of straw and chaff and a small pile of grain. So I'll make this a little bigger for you. You can see they're hitting the wheat, and all the grain is flying off of it. The grain is the seeds on the end of the wheat. So by hitting it, it shoots it off so they can collect it to make flour. The miller poured the grain on a large flat stone. On top of it was a round millstone connected to the water wheel on the outside. The wheel turned round and round, turning the millstone round and round too to grind the grain into flour. At last, the miller handed Jack a big bag of flour. He comes back to his farm. Here's the flour, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, now we need an egg. Jack went back to the, went to the black hen and fed her some grain that had slipped into his pocket while he had been threshing. Cluck, cluck, said the black hen and went inside the hen house. Then she said, cluck, cluck, once more, and she laid an egg. Here's an egg, shouted Jack. Now can we make a pancake? But his mother said, now we need some milk. Jack went to the spotted cow and began to milk her. Moo, moo, said the spotted cow as the milk squirted into the pail. Here's the milk, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need some butter. Jack got the butter churn and held it between his knees. His mother scooped the cream from the top of the milk and put it into the butter churn. Jack pushed the butter churn handle up and down, up and down, and finally turned it into butter. Here's the butter, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need to build a fire. Jack went to the woodshed and brought some firewood. Here's the firewood, shouted Jack. Now let's make a pancake. But his mother said, wouldn't you like to have something sweet on your pancake? Something sweet on your pancake. What do you eat that's sweet on your pancakes? I'm sure a lot of you eat syrup on your pancakes. Some other people like to put jam or jelly on their pancakes or maybe even chocolate or peanut butter. Let's see what Jack gets. Jack went down into the cool cellar. 
and pulled a jar of strawberry jam from one of the shelves. Here's the strawberry jam, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. In the kitchen, Jack's mother had filled the table with the flour, the egg, the milk, the butter. There was also a mixing bowl, a cup, a wooden spoon, a ladle, a frying pan, a plate, a knife, fork, and spoon, and a jar of strawberry jam. And his mother said, put a cup of flour into the bowl, break an egg into the bowl and stir, pour a cup of milk over the flour and eggs and stir again until the batter is smooth and has no lumps. Jack's mother heated the frying pan over the fire and added a piece of butter. The butter melted fast. Then she said to Jack, now pour a ladle of batter into the hot pan. Have any of you made pancakes at home just like this? Of course, you're probably not doing it over a fire and you probably didn't have to mill the flour yourself, but it's kind of the same. You mix all the ingredients and cook it. After a minute or two, she looked at the underside of the pancake. It was golden brown. Now watch, she said. I'll turn it over. Are you ready? Ready, shouted Jack. Flip, said his mother. Up and over went the pancake high into the air and landed right in the pan. In another minute or two, the pancake was crisp on the underside as well. Then she slipped the pancake from the frying pan onto the plate and she spread some strawberry jam on it. And now, Jack, his mother started to say, but Jack said, Oh, Mama, I know what to do now. What did he do? Let's say it in a full sentence. He is eating the pancake. That's the end of that one. Now, did you know it took all that work to get a pancake onto your plate and in your belly? I bet you didn't. It had to mill the flour, milk the cow, get the chicken from the egg, turn the cream into butter, grab the strawberry jam. You don't even know how to get the strawberry jam, but it's just in his cellar. And then you put it all together and you have a pancake. All right. I hope you enjoyed that story and I will see you tomorrow.